They can use them at any of the vendors that have fruit and produce. Um, and then we'll go around and we'll pay the vendors for vouchers that they accept. Great. And if they want to become part of the program, how would they get in touch with Echo? Um, Client-wise, right? Yep. Okay. Client-wise, Client -wise, they would need to come to the Echo office and bring in a piece of mail with the Curtin Janesville address um, that's dated the month that we're in or the previous month and get an Echo card, which um, in order to get an Echo card, you have to have that proof of address and we go over their financial information to make sure that they are um, income eligible for the service. And then they just come down with their little Echo card and we distribute the vouchers here at Uh, Zoe's pet collars and we got our name from our little dog is named Zoe so we named the business after her. Barts and Bites is actually our partner over here and they make dog treats at home. Uh, we have dog collars and we also make these little uh, treat bag holders and put your treats in there. My wife buys the hardware and then um, she gets the material and there's interfacing in between the layers so it makes it nice and stiff. And that's how we make a dog collar. <laughs> My name is Terry Krieger and the business is Barking Bites. We make uh, treats from the heart. We offer uh, 12 different flavors of uh, dog treats and then we have catnip toys. We have banana, um, carob mint, ginger, peanut butter, cheddar, oatmeal apples. Um, we have spice pumpkin, moon munchies, breath buds, carrot lovers, cranberry kitties, and carob mint. We have three most popular ones. That is peanut butter, cheddar, and the moon munchies because the dogs love the sweet molasses. 